Is this what your Roblox game looks like while trying to play some Marsenal? If so, then you found the right video. Do you guys want to hack into the system and get 5 million Robux along with 1 million FPS? Today we're going to be hacking into the Roblox system to get unlimited Robux along with unlimited FPS. Well, I hope you guys understand that that was a joke. But this video will seriously help you boost your FPS so keep watching. Okay guys, so I might have over exaggerated just a little bit on what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. But either way, you're going to be getting a pretty good boost in your frames in Roblox, as well as uncapping your frames from 60 because of the Roblox limitations. The first thing you're going to want to do to boost your frames in Roblox, go to the bottom left to type here to search and search up control panel. Once you guys are in the control panel, go over to system security and go ahead and click on it. Then go in system, click on it, and then on the left, you should see advanced system settings. Click on that too. Once you're in the advanced tab on the top, go to performance and click on settings. Once you guys are here, you're going to want to click on adjust for best performance. This will make your animations on Windows look a little crappier, and overall your imaging for your screen are just a little bit worse. But this will give you a pretty good boost in frames. So you guys can choose if you want to do it or not. You guys can go ahead and click on apply right here. And if it looks too bad for you guys, go ahead and click on let Windows choose what's best for my computer. But I'll just recommend keeping it adjust for best performance because it's not really that ugly to be honest and you get a pretty good boost out of it now guys again for this next step it's going to be pretty simple go over to the bottom left again click on type here to search and then search up power and then go to power and sleep settings click on that once you guys are here go over to additional power settings on the right under related settings and then over here click on create a power plan under create a power plan go ahead and click on high performance and name whatever you want for example i'll be naming mine test and then you guys can change this but i'll just leave it be over at perform plans you should see the name just go and click on it and that'll boost your performance already now guys this is the last step to boost your fps in roblox and what you're going to want to do is actually go over to the roblox studio application once you guys have opened it go over to file in the top left and then click on studio settings once you guys are inside of the studio settings go over to rendering on the left Go to quality level, it should be set to automatic, set it to level 01, same as edit quality level, set it to level 01. There's no need to apply, so just click on close, and then click on the X. So guys, now that we're done with all the steps for boosting your FPS on Roblox, go over to Google Chrome, go into the description, click on the link that says Roblox FPS Unlocker, and then it should bring you to this page. Once you're in this page, click on download here, 64-bit. Don't worry guys, this is not a virus. Once it is done downloading, just go and click on the file, and then click on Roblox FPS Unlocker.exe. It should bring you to this black screen, just wait till it goes away, and then once it goes away, it's actually been unlocked. It's literally as simple as that. So now your frames will go to whatever your PC can handle instead of being capped at 60. But guys, every time you do restart your computer or shut it off and shut it back on, this application will close automatically. So I would recommend putting the file onto your desktop so every time you boot up your computer, you can just click on it and then it'll be running. So guys, that is going to be the video for today. If this did help you, please do consider subscribing with the post notifications on. Also, drop a like while you're at it. Hopefully this did help you guys. I hope you have a good day and peace out.